tell you the story of an old woman and a skunk. Now what is a skunk children? It is a furry animal, black with a white stripe and it makes a dreadful smell. Ew! We hold up our noses and can't breathe when the skunk makes a smell. This is a folk tale from Canada. Once upon a time, there was a fat old woman, a plump old woman named Tante Adela. She lived with her big grey cat and the cows in her barn. One morning, she woke up, stretched and yawned and said, I am going to bake today. She went to her oven. An oven is a machine in which you bake breads and cakes. She tried to open the oven door. Pull, pull, but the door wouldn't open. She wondered, now why won't the door open? Hmm, she picked up a stick and poked it inside. Tweak, tweak. The stick would not go in. There was something in there. It was getting stuck. Kutch, kutch. She bent down to look. When she saw what was inside, she shouted, Ah! and ran to her neighbor's farm. Now Felix, her neighbor, was pulling water from the well. How do we pull water from the well, children? I want all of you to do this. Come on. Pull, pull. Now Adela reached and shouted, Felix, Felix, come quickly. There's a skunk in my oven. And Felix replied, Are you sure it's a skunk and not your cat in the oven? Meow. And Adela replied, Of course it's not my cat. Does my cat have a furry tail and a white stripe? No. So Felix said, All right. I will come after I finish drawing water. Adela turned and ran fast. Patter, patter, patter. She ran to the next neighbor's farm and called out, Louis, Louis, come quickly. There's a skunk in my oven. Now Louis said, Are you sure it's a skunk and not your old fur coat that you threw away? Of course it's not my coat, said Adela. Why would I throw it away? So Louis said, All right, I will come after I finish feeding my chickens. He was giving food to the hens and chickens and they went cluck, cluck, cluck. Now Adela's feet were hurting from all the running and she was limping. She said, ow, and she walked slowly to the next neighbor's farm and called out, Samuel, Samuel, come quickly. There's a skunk in my oven. And Samuel said, Are you sure it's a skunk and not just a shadow you saw? Adela replied, Of course I'm sure it's a skunk and not a shadow because it was gritting its teeth and going snap, snap to bite. All right, said Samuel. I will come after I finish gardening. He was putting water in his plants and plants. Adela went from farm to farm looking for him. When she reached home, Felix, Louis and Samuel were already there and the others also came, everyone who had heard about the skunk. Madam Roy said, yes, there is a skunk in the oven. I know that, said Adela, but what should we do? Well, said Felix, I will go and get my gun. One clean shot, tissue, and that will be the end of the skunk. No, no, don't do that, said Adela. Think of the smell. Yes, said everyone. The smell inside will be so bad that Adela will not be able to bake anything for at least a month. Well, said another girl called Alice. 
Let's get a dog. The dog will bark, bow wow, and the skunk will get scared and come out. No, no, said Adela. What if the skunk gets scared and bites us or snaps at us? Well, said someone else. Let's get a piece of meat, tie it to a string and poke it around near the skunk. The skunk will smell it, sniff, sniff and come out. I don't have any meat, said Adela. And if I had meat, I would not waste it on the skunk. No one wanted to go home and get meat for the skunk. Now everyone was getting bored of the skunk question and Adela was not giving them any food or drink so they wanted to go back home. Someone wanted to do gardening, someone wanted to milk the cows, someone wanted to go and feed the chickens. Just then, Jules, a simple young man, walked inside. And Adela said, Jules, can you do something? There's a skunk in my oven. Can you get him out without scaring him? Jules nodded his head. He went to the oven, opened it, bent down and whispered something. Whisper, 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 whisper. No one could hear what he was saying. Then Jules stepped back. Soon, the skunk's pointy face came out and the skunk came down and walked out slowly with his head held up high. Adela started clapping. Clap, clap, clap. Can we get a clap from everyone? Come on children. Clap, clap, clap. What did you do? said everyone. What did you do to get the skunk out? Well, said Jules, I whispered to the skunk and told him, if he stays inside Adela's oven, he will smell like bread and cakes and the other skunks will not come near him. His family, his friends will all hate his smell. And so the skunk came out. Imagine children, the skunk did not want to smell like bread and cakes and he liked his own dirty smell. That's all for now. Bye-bye.